Hello, my name is Chris Kiak. I am a Tekla Structures trainer and consultant. And in this video, I am going to cover the very basics of navigating in Tekla Structures. It isn't necessarily super intuitive, but here I am in a 3D view, um, or basically I'm rotated into 3D. Um, and basically here, what I can do to zoom in and out is take my middle uh, mouse button. So I need to have a mouse that has a scroll wheel on it for the middle mouse button. And wherever I hover my mouse, if I just scroll forward, that is going to zoom me into that location wherever my mouse is at. And then if I want to zoom out, I can basically just scroll backward. Let me go over here to the intersection of grid A5, scroll forward, and you see that I zoom into wherever my mouse is. Now, if I want to pan around the model, basically what I do is I press down and hold down the middle mouse button or the middle mouse scroll wheel. So if I just hold it down, you'll see that the icon will actually change when I start moving my mouse as I hold down the middle mouse button. You'll see that basically this hand icon appears for the cursor. When I release the middle mouse button, that basically frees this up and I stop panning. Now the last thing here is you'll see that there is this magenta um, basically circle in the middle of the model and near the middle of the grid. If I hold down control on my keyboard and then I press down the middle mouse button and I start to just move around almost very similar to a pan command. So I'm holding down the middle mouse button, holding down control on my keyboard and you'll see that the model rotates around that magenta circle. Now, if I want to change that rotation point, I can do a certain command, but let me show you why you would need to do that. If I zoom in down here to grid line A1 and I try to hold down control and then middle mouse button, notice that my rotation looks really whacked out. And that's because my rotation point is out in the middle of the model. Now I'm going to press the V as in Victor key. So V key on my keyboard. And when I press V, you'll see that my cursor changes. If I look at the lower left-hand corner of Tekla, this is where Tekla gives you instructions about what it's expecting you to do. And so here it's saying, pick the position. If I actually hover my mouse near the grids, you'll see that the snapping controls start to kick in. And the snapping controls are down here at the lower right-hand corner of Tekla. And so here I'm just gonna pick at the intersection of grid line A and one. When I just click here or left mouse click, then you'll see that the magenta circle now reorientates itself to the intersection of grid line A1. So if I hold down control and then I press down the middle mouse button and start panning around, this essentially rotates me now around that magenta circle point. So V as in Victor, and then basically pick the location where I want to reset my rotation point, And now I'm rotating around here in the model. Now, one other thing that's pretty important is basically switching between a 2D and a 3D view of the model. Now, this default 3D view that Tekla creates when you first open your model and create your model, the view plane is actually created at zero, zero. So if I double click in the background of the view, it's going to open up what's called the view properties. If I come in here and switch this angle from 3D to plane, and then I press the modify button. And the reason why I'm pressing the modify button is because I'm changing this existing selected view. So if I modify, that modifies this property to plane. So now my camera is just looking down at the view plane, which was created at zero, zero. Now I'm gonna switch this back to 3D and press modify. Now, another shortcut way to do this is to actually press the control key on your keyboard. So if I hold down control and then press P at the same time, that will basically uh, switch me between this angle, like our plane mode and between 3D. So it's still the same view. Um, and here I'm just looking at the zero, zero view plane that the 3D view was created from. And then here I'm now just rotated into a 3D isometric mode where I can rotate around. Now, if I go back to control P, so I'm looking at my plane view, pan still works here and zoom in and out also works just like if I'm in a 3D angle. Now, if I actually hold down control and then hold down my middle mouse button and start to rotate, this automatically rotates me out of a plane view and rotates me into 3D. So these are the basic ways that you navigate here within Tekla Structures. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.